Ayan, hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's me again, Francis de la Cruz. For today's video, I'm going to teach you how to read the ship drop and of course, how to calculate the ship drop. Ituturo ko sa inyo yung madaling paraan para mas madali yung maunawaan. Okay? So, alam natin, ang ship drop is indicates the depth of the water measured from the keel up to the water line. Or, it's a vertical distance from the keel to the water line. Okay, that is the ship drop. This is the example of the ship drop. Okay, yan ha. And then, ship drops are painted forward, midship, and of course, we have in the stern portion of the ship. Okay, dyan yun yung makikita yung ship drop. Diyan kayo magbabasa ng ship drop. So, ito guys, um, tuturo ko sa inyo kung paano magbasa ng ship drop. This is a sample, okay? So, turo ko muna sa inyo, ha? So, from this to this one, it is measured in one meter. Okay? The distance between that is one meter. And the distance between this one, okay, is 10 cm. And here, here, is also 10 cm the distance here and here is 10 cm okay ah? here and here 10 cm and this number is 10 cm 2 4 6 8 okay so 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 1 100 centimeter or 1 meter Okay, understood? Understood? So, let's say if the water line is in here, kapag ang tubig ng bar uh, kapag ang tubig ay nandito, okay, let's say that, ito yung tubig ka, okay, dyan. So, paano babasahin yan? So, we have Simula tayo sa pinakababa. So, ang tubig nandyan. So, ibig sabihin, hindi mo ito makikita kasi may tubig dyan. ba Right? So, dito tayo titingin. So, 12 meters. So, it is ano, given na sa baba ng 12 meters ay 11. So, 11 11 point So, 10 yan. Okay? So, 11 point 6 T Why? 11 point 6 T Here is 6 T 65 Here is 70 Okay, understood? 60, 65, 70 Okay, because it is 10 centimeters So, 6 6, 60, 65, 70 Or 62, 64, like that Okay, so 11.60 So, let's say the water is in here Okay, water is in here. So you read that by Paano siya basahin? 11 meters 11 11 meters and 85 centimeters. So 11.85. Okay? So napaka-simple lang magbasa ng draft. So yan lang. So, palakin natin na, palakin natin. So, let's say, this 8 is this one. Okay. There is a 10 centimeter here, right? We have this 10 centimeter here. So, let's, the 5 is here. Let's say 10 here, and it's a 0. So, let's say 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, like that. So, if the water is here, 
So you have already 0.2. You have already 2 cm. 4 or 5 cm like that. Okay? So that is basic. I'm going to give you a test para mas malaman nyo. Para ma-assess yung sarili nyo kung naintindihan nyo yung tinuro ko. Okay? So this. Okay? So this is. Please read. This is example 1, 2, 3, and 4, and 5. So okay. This line is the water line. Okay? Those lines are water line. So, what is the ship's draft of this? I give you five seconds. But... Okay, our ship's draft is 11.0 meters. Okay, number two, if your ship drops here, so what is your ship drop? How do you read that? So you have, okay, you have nine point, nine point five. Five what? Fifty-five. Because if you are in the upper, so you have five. If you are in the center, so you have point five. So fifty-five. Okay. So you have nine point fifty-five. Two because there is uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like that. Okay. So number three. What is your ship drop number three? It's so. Ano yun sa baba ng 19 here? Of course, there's a water here, so the musha invisible yan, the musha makikita. So you have eighteen point land. 80 Wow, very good 80 Next, number 4 You have 5 Point Plan 90 Very good 5 Last one, last example, we have 13 point 60 land 65 because at the center Okay, that is example of how to read the ship's draft Guys, pag nagbabasa kayo ng ship's draft Dapat from the bottom to pataas di pa baba and the 6 meters like that no dapat simula kayo dito sa baba pataas okay that is how to read the shift drop so now i'm going to teach you how to compute the shift drop if two are given two shift drop are given and one is missing why missing because sometimes di mo siya makikita dahil malayo yan kaya kailangan natin I-complete yan. 